Starbucks, the leading corporation in coffee production and sales, taking over the world one cup at a time. Starbucks was founded in 1971, has been operating in 55 countries worldwide, and has employed over 150,000 employees each year. The difference between Starbucks and the local mom and pop coffee shops is explained by local Pepe's employee. It's different and we have different types of drinks, but um, like we have a different roaster than them, so our coffee tastes different than theirs, but it's all pretty much made the same way. Do people actually like Starbucks coffee, or do they just go for the experience? Starbucks better than a small town like Frankie's and Pepe's. No. <laughs> I, and I think it's because um, the service. We have our clientele. We can be more personalized, I guess, with, with people than we can and with their orders. Yeah. Many people feel that Starbucks focuses on the company aspect rather than the actual customer. They're, we don't constantly have someone like reading over our shoulder. We're kind of told we're given like a certain job, and then we're just expected to do that. You know, we, we have the trust to just be able to run the business on our own business. Even small coffee shops notice they still have regular customers. I think that we've had people that have gone to, to Starbucks, but I, I feel that the, most of them are regulars, most of them have come back. Um, and I've had people come in and say, you know, I tried it, and even people that hadn't been here before, that, or that I knew of, said, we like your coffee. And here at Frankie's, we, again, we can specialize, we can personalize for our customers more than they do. Um, you know, we have certain customers that they want a certain way, and we just, we do it. I don't know, I don't know if they, they do that. Per Starbucks policies, there is no video recording, photography, or interviews allowed in their shops without company approval. So what is Starbucks hiding behind the green apron? Could it be their uncleanliness? Their lack of organization? Starbucks has recently created the following commercial in order to give the impression of being a customer-based, personable company, when in reality, that's not the truth. Have you noticed how everything seems a little impersonal nowadays? We've all become usernames, reference numbers and IP addresses. That's why at Starbucks we've decided to do things differently. From now on, we won't refer to you as a latte or a mocha, but instead as your folks intended, by your name. Okay, we know it's only a little thing. But hey, why don't we buy you a coffee on the morning of the 14th of March and you can introduce yourself. We're Starbucks. Nice to meet you. Small town coffee shop customers notice the skill, professionalism and quality that small town coffee shops put forth to customers from the drinks they sell. They take their time to craft such a delicate blend of espresso. Starbucks has been so popular for consumers that when people think of going to get a nice cup of joe, Starbucks automatically pops in their head. Making little changes to business such as cup sizes like Tall, Grande, Venti, and Trenta 
have made a huge impact on the way people feel while ordering. It makes Starbucks seem like they are professional, devoted, and determined to give you a cup of coffee with high quality. Let's not let Starbucks run the world with their grande mochas. Say no to Starbucks. Hey.